Isaac, go ahead, sir. Yeah, so I had a question about the fine-tuning argument. Yes. I, I heard, an, heard an objection to it that mm -hmm. I haven't quite found a way around, mm -hmm. which was um, the, fi the fine-tuning argument says that if there was any deviation in the constants that we have that make up reality, mm -hmm. life as we know it, the universe as we know it, wouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. But there's a hypothetical where the constants are slightly different, the universe exists roughly how it exists now, and life arises in a different manner. How do you kind of get around, like, why is that conception of life less valuable than our conception of life? Have you ever wondered how our universe is so precisely fine-tuned for life? Could those conditions have been different and still produced a similar existence? Or is there something more profound at play? In this video, we dive into a thought-provoking question from an audience member about the fine-tuning of the universe and its implications. Dr. Frank Turek explores the evidence for design, the role of intelligence, and what this means for faith, science, and the ultimate question of life's origins. Get ready for a fascinating discussion that bridges science and spirituality. Well, first of all, we don't know if a different kind of life could have evolved under different conditions. What we do know is this kind of life can or can't come into being unless we have the conditions we have on this earth. That's the issue. The issue isn't trying to explain some other hypothetical universe. The issue is uh, the kind of life we have here is very, very, a very, very narrow band of factors have to be just right for this kind of life to exist. Now, there's a difference between a sufficient condition and a necessary condition. What we're saying here is this fine-tuned universe is a necessary condition for life, but it's not a sufficient condition. What do I mean by that? This building is a necessary condition for a fire. In other words, there's fuel here. There could be a fire in this building. We hope there isn't, but you get the idea, right? But it's not a sufficient condition to have a building and then say we're going to have a fire. You need something to start the fire. Okay? Well, the same thing is true here with, with the parameters we have uh, about this universe. These parameters, as far as we know, are necessary for us to have life here on Earth. But that's not a sufficient condition for life on Earth. How did life begin? How does it continue? That seems to be the product of intelligence. Second thing that I'd like to mention here with regard to this fine-tuning argument, people sometimes misunderstand there's at least two aspects of the fine-tuning argument. One are the initial conditions of the universe, and the second are the current conditions of the universe. And what Stephen Hawking and others have said are the initial conditions of the universe had to be very precise at the initial creation point to allow the necessary conditions for life to occur. If those conditions were not met, not only wouldn't we have life, but we wouldn't even have basic chemistry. We might have only helium or hydrogen. So it's not just that you got to have all these conditions for life, you have to have these conditions to even have the periodic table. And again, that does not answer the atheist objection, does not answer where the universe came from to begin with, right? That's even a harder question for an atheist. Where did space, matter, and time come into existence? How did they come into existence? Because that's what the evidence seems to show is that they did. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Isaac. The fine-tuning argument is one of the most compelling apologetic tools for demonstrating the existence of God. It highlights the extraordinary precision of the universe's physical constants and conditions, which must fall within extremely narrow ranges to allow life as we know it. This commentary will address key questions raised by the fine-tuning discussion, providing thoughtful and detailed answers to equip believers and challenge skeptics. What exactly is the fine-tuning argument, and why is it considered evidence for God's existence? The fine-tuning argument states that the universe's physical constants, for example, the strength of gravity, the cosmological constant, and the strong nuclear force, are precisely calibrated to permit life. 
For instance, a minuscule change in gravity strength would render the universe lifeless, collapsing it into a singularity or spreading matter too thinly for stars and planets to form. This level of precision suggests intentional design rather than random chance or mere necessity. As Psalm 19, one declares, the heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. The extraordinary balance evident in the universe points to a creator who established these parameters with life in mind. Atheists often counter the fine-tuning argument by proposing either chance or necessity. However, both responses are deeply flawed. Coincidence, chance. The odds of the universe's constants aligning by chance are astronomically small. For example, the cosmological constant is fine-tuned to one part in 10120-10 circumflex, 120. Such probabilities defy rational belief in a purely random universe. Necessity. There is no evidence to suggest that the constants of nature must have their current values. The laws of physics do not demand them, nor is there any natural mechanism compelling these exact values. Ultimately, both explanations fail to account for the intricate design we observe, leaving intelligent causation as the most reasonable alternative. The fine-tuning argument distinguishes between necessary conditions and sufficient conditions. A necessary condition is something required for a phenomenon to occur. For example, a building provides the necessary fuel for a fire. A sufficient condition ensures the phenomenon occurs. For example, a match starts the fire. Fine-tuned constants provide the necessary conditions for life, such as stable atoms and the periodic table. However, they are not sufficient to guarantee life's existence. Life also requires information, complexity, and order, all hallmarks of intelligence. This distinction underscores that even a fine-tuned universe points beyond itself to a purposeful creator. Natural processes can only explain phenomena within the framework of an existing universe. They cannot account for why the universe itself exists or why its conditions allow for life. As the atheist cosmologist Stephen Hawking admitted, the remarkable fact is that the values of these numbers seem to have been very finely adjusted to make possible the development of life. Natural explanations, such as multiverse theories, fail because they cannot be tested or observed and often invoke even greater levels of complexity. The best explanation for such finely calibrated conditions is an intelligent mind behind the cosmos. Science excels at describing how processes work, but struggles to explain why they exist in the first place. For example, life's origin. Despite decades of research, no naturalistic mechanism has been discovered to explain the origin of life's information-rich DNA. The universe's beginning. The Big Bang points to a moment when space, time, and matter began. Science cannot explain what caused this event or why it occurred. These gaps are not merely God of the gaps arguments, but indicators that science operates within limits. God's existence transcends these limits, offering the ultimate explanation for both life and the universe. Genesis 1, 1. The fine-tuning argument complements other theistic arguments, such as the cosmological argument, demonstrating that the universe has a cause, the moral argument, showing that objective moral values require a moral lawgiver, the design argument, highlighting the complexity and purpose evident in biological life. Fine-tuning uniquely emphasizes the precision of physical laws and constants, pointing to a creator who not only initiated the universe, but crafted it with care. The fine-tuning argument showcases God's glory as the divine architect of creation. For Christians, it also reinforces the theological claim that the universe is designed to reveal God's character and purposes. 
Romans 1.20. It provides a bridge to evangelism, encouraging skeptics to consider the evidence for God and to explore the gospel message that this Creator loves His creation. By connecting science with faith, the fine-tuning argument serves as a powerful apologetic tool that magnifies God's wisdom and invites believers and skeptics alike to marvel at His handiwork. Through the fine-tuning argument, we see the fingerprints of God in the cosmos, offering both intellectual satisfaction and spiritual awe. It is a reminder that our Creator is not only powerful, but deeply intentional, crafting a universe perfectly suited for life, and for us to seek Him, Acts 17, 27.